Good morning, St. Francis Elementary School students and staff. It is Wednesday, September 14th. At SFE, we are respectful, we are responsible, and we are safe. Specials day today. We have day three for specials today. Uh, birthdays, I have Emma in kindergarten and Chase in first grade. Happy birthday to you too today. Uh, let's see. Today, we're going to talk about zones of regulation. If you remember back to last week, boys and girls, I mentioned that during our grade level discussions that we'll start talking about zones of regulation today and that's really a way for you to communicate to adults in this building where you're at. I know I've walked around the building recently and I've seen several classrooms actually talking about this uh, just noticing it on their smart boards or interactive TVs so I love to see that. Uh, today we're going to talk about the blue zone. Now the blue zone what it looks like is it's kind of like slow motion. You're moving slow, you're laying down, you're tired, you're bored, Maybe you're yawning, frowning, all those kinds of things. You're, you're just kind of bleh, right? Just not ready to learn, but you know, maybe there's something else going on. Uh, what it feels like, maybe you're sad, maybe you're tired, maybe you're sick, uh, maybe you're bored. It just kind of feels like you're in slow motion. And then what it sounds like could just be quiet. You could be yawning, you could be sighing. You could even say, I am sad or I'm bored, or maybe you're even crying. Those are all things that you would hear uh, in the blue zone. Uh, so just some things that you can think about, and your teachers will talk to you about this too, but things that you can do to maybe get out of the blue zone. Uh, you can jump, you can move around, you can take a break. Sometimes sour candies work when you're in the blue zone to wake you up a little bit. Uh, listening to music, getting a hug, maybe even drawing a picture. All of those things could pot potentially help you get out of the blue zone. And maybe you have other things that you can think of too. And I'm guessing maybe you'll talk about that as a class as well. So today's highlight was the blue zone. Uh, I know you'll have further discussions about this in your classroom, but just to kind of make you aware, if you're in the blue zone, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's good to identify that you're in the blue zone and you can tell someone about it. Ms. Shulman, anything from you? Nope, not on Wednesday. All right, you can stand and join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Student staff, have a wonderful Wednesday. Remember, the choice is yours.